In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this smooth speed ramp transition. But before we get started, I want to mention that I partnered with Envato Elements to get you guys your first month for 70% off. With Envato, you get unlimited downloads to millions of stock videos just like the clip I used in this tutorial. They also have tons of Premiere Pro effects, transitions, and much more. Okay, in Premiere, I just added two clips to my timeline. The first one is a far off drone shot, and the other one is closer up. So first, you'll want to click on this wrench button on the timeline, and select Expand All Tracks, so you can see this line going through it. Then right click on your first clip, and go to Show Clip Keyframes, Time Remapping, Speed. And do the same thing for your second clip, right click it, Show Clip Keyframes, and change it to Time Remapping Speed. For the next step, select the Pen Tool from the toolbar, and click on your first clip's line where you want to start speeding up your clip. I recommend leaving at least 2 or 3 seconds to work with between the point you click and the cut since we'll be speeding it up a lot. Then click on your second clip's line where you want to return to normal speed. Again, you'll want about 3 seconds between this point and the cut. We're done with the pen tool, so tap the V key to bring up the selection tool. Now, after your first clip's marker, drag its line up to about 550% and then drag your second clip's line up before its marker to around 550% as well. Now, you'll want to drag the second half of your first marker towards a cut. The length of this should be anywhere from half a second to three quarters of a second. Then for your other clip, drag the first half of the marker towards the cut. This one can be a little longer, so I'd say about a second. Next, let's smooth out our ramp by making sure either half of your second marker is selected, which will expose this middle point that you can drag to create a curve. This curve should be really gradual, so don't make it too sharp. And you'll do the same thing for your first clip. Select half of its marker and drag that middle point to make a curve. This curve should be sharper for a quicker speed up and then a gradual slowdown. Next, trim the beginning of your second clip so it starts at the marker. And trim the end of your first clip so that it ends at the marker. Then just drag the two clips together and we can play back our result. Cool, we have our speed ramp, but I actually think my down ramp is a little too slow, so keep in mind that you can adjust these ramps at any time by dragging the markers. This looks better, so let's move on and add a blur to it with the help of an adjustment layer. First, right click in the project panel and go to New Item, Adjustment Layer. Then drag the adjustment layer above your two clips and set its duration to match about the length of your ramp. Next, go over to the effects panel and in the search box, type directional blur. Then drag that directional blur effect onto your adjustment clip. Before we continue, make sure your adjustment clip is selected and then go over to effect controls. First, we'll want to change the blur direction based on the way our clip is moving. If I scrub through my clip, I can see that it's moving at this angle, which is roughly negative 120 degrees. Next, let's start animating by moving the playhead so that it's a little ways into your up curve. And click the stopwatch next to blur length to create a starting keyframe. Then move the playhead to the peak of your speed curve and change blur length to about 8, which will create a second keyframe. And finally, move the playhead almost all the way down your down curve and set the blur length back to zero to create your third keyframe. I think this looks pretty good, but remember you can make small adjustments if you want, you don't have to start over completely. This transition is smooth enough for me, so that's all I've got. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.